I'm Guido Sequeira. I was born in Hong Kong. What, when were, uh, what was the year you were born? Uh, I was born in 1924. And uh, we lived, uh, originally uh, lived at, uh, up at the, by the peak. Then, then we moved to Home and Tin uh, across the, 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 the harbor. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, an area called Home and Tin and my dad bought the house, and that's what we moved up. And so I was about uh, ten, about ten years old when I moved over, and we lived there uh, at Suarez Avenue. And and I went to school over on uh, that young at uh, uh, Saint Mary's School. In, okay, in, you went to Saint Mary's. I, I went to Saint Mary's. And then, then after grade ten, I went to La Salle College. Okay, La Salle. Yeah. I see. La Salle. How many people in your family? Uh, there's seven of us. And uh, my dad uh, worked at Standard Oil Company, and so we, we lived in, in this house, uh, 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 Suarez Avenue, and the other family. It, it, Homestead was populated by a lot of Portuguese families. I've heard that. Yeah, See, the other group is the Chibisa uh -huh. and we 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 have another community in uh, uh -huh. Homestead. Right. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, when the war broke out, I, I I was brushing my teeth and I heard of the planes. Overhead, and we said, "This is another maneuver." But I looked out, and I could see the the red uh, side of Japanese planes. So you were in Kowloon when the war broke out. Oh yeah, the planes were, flew, flew right over us uh -huh. on the way to home, to to the airport. I see. They flew right up the desk. We could see it, and so that's the first sign we had. And so the family got ready. My, my two brothers were in the volunteers, so they got ready to go, and my dad had to go to work. So I d drove them to the uh, to the staff area oh. and dropped them off. And also, the family was all supposed to go to to, to Hong Kong, uh -huh. and they were they my mother and my sisters, and they all went to Kadosha. Convent, and my two brothers, of course, went to report to the station, right. and my dad went to work. So I left to be alone. Even though there was an invasion, your father went to work. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, he he had to go. He didn't. I guess he didn't know what he what to do, but he went. He went. So I was alone in Kowloon. Oh boy. So you and your mother. No, my mother went with Kanusha Convent oh. because the the, fam the rest of the family went up there. I so I was alone in, in at the, in Kalu. Uh -huh. So I, I stayed after I dropped him off. I stayed in, in Chimsa Chori, visited some friends or not until about something like three or four o'clock in the afternoon, and we heard the, the um, Japanese had crossed the border. So I I drove back home. And went up to the house to get all my clothes. Mm -hmm. Some of my brothers had some, prepared some clothes, and I I had two suitcases and two jackets. That, oh. And I, the, the funny thing is, is I, I packed up the stuff to, to, uh, to take with me. I took uh, what you call it? Uh, Toothpaste. Or? No. Uh, of all the things that are perfume, you know, <laughs> you know the, yeah. the men's cologne. The men's cologne. I, I remember a stupid thing I, I gathered those in the coming jar, uh -huh. and I, I get, got, got, drove to the to the staff area. When when I got to to Chatham Road, they, they had blocked off the whole area, and they, they kept everybody from crossing over. And I didn't know what to do. I drove the car and I just left the car and carried my two suitcases, and I couldn't get through. So I, 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 I don't know what made me do it. But I turned around instead of facing 
the crowd. I, I backed up with the police. I went through the lines. You were walking and you went through the lines? Uh, yeah, they, 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 I walked through <laughs> backwards. And I went behind the lines and I went out and, and looked for a ferry boat. And I got on the ferry boat. They were bombing the, uh, the uh, naval yard at that time. And in, in, in the confusion, all the, we, we crossed over to go, go to the Hong Kong side. And, that's, and I got a chance to call my, my parents to tell them I'm, I'm over. Yeah. And it was kind of dark, so I decided to go to uh, the, uh, 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 the Portuguese club. Uh, Lusitano. And I stayed the night there. Uh -huh. And we well, were sleeping on, on the table, on the, yeah, bombing <laughs> a, a, a couple of blocks away. And the, all our, our, our volunteers, they were out. Some of them came back with their guns shattered. <laughs> And what I, I couldn't remember too much about it. So anyway, we lived through that day, and then I, I walked, worked my way up to to uh, Lusitan, uh, to, to, to convent, to where my parents were. I see. And that, that's how I got there. Okay. And I, I, they didn't hear from me, and except for that one phone call, uh, but I didn't have a chance to talk to them because they were living in the, in, in the lowest part of the thing, yeah. and they, I couldn't talk to them. I left wow. message. That's all. <laughs> wow. So that that's. that's cool. And how old were you when this happened? Uh, yeah. I was about seventeen. 17. See, the reason I wanted the volunteers was I was then the age. Oh, you're just under age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I got there. <laughs> so your brothers were on the gin drinkers line. The, yeah, they they were on the line. Yeah, my brother got killed oh, at oh, age, but a week later, uh -huh. and uh, so we went. To, we we had a chance to go see the body. Uh, at, uh, at the hospital, and so, so that, that's a uh, funny thing that living in, in, in the convent wasn't much, at that time I didn't realize what the war was like at, at my age until uh, my, my brother was killed. And then after that, you know, the convent faces Kowloon and the shells are coming over to the, to the uh, peak mm -hmm. and they were bombing it all the time. And I wasn't afraid until my brother died. After that, whenever I walked there, I looked at them. So I think they aiming at me. You know, before that, it didn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. So how long were you in Hong Kong? Uh, through the invasion? Well, we went uh, after the Japanese came in. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, um, we decided to go back to 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 the house. And when we got back to the house, it's about a week later, about, uh, let's see, about the end of uh, 25th, about the 27th, we went, went over. And my, my first reaction when we got, got across from, from Hong Kong was that people, the Chinese uh, storekeepers and all that, they, they were saying bad things to us. Say, oh, you guys, are you here to say, buy anything? You're not get out. Hmm. They're very hostile to, to to us, you know. So anyway, we got to, back to to the house, and uh, it, it been looted by oh. by, yeah. by, by the, the, uh, the the family that behind us kept some of our stuff, oh. but most of of uh, our furniture and all ended up in a uh, multi-building, uh, 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 and they, they kept all the stuff there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, after, uh, I don't remember how long, but a couple of weeks, uh, the, the troops moved out. So we, my brother and I went running up there mm -hmm. and to look for, for our stuff. I remember my, my brother took a, a, a ladder. And I said, that's not ours. Don't take it. So we took all the house stuff. Some people who, who uh, oh, we housed quite a few families in our, in our house too. Some, they took whatever they, they had anything, they just took it. <laughs> so, but, but you know, that, that's the funny part of it. <laughs> so. You were, uh, so, 
did you, when did you go back to Hong Kong? Uh, from Kowloon, I mean, after, this is about the 26th, no, from the, from the, about the, the end, end of the month, okay. I think. We went, went, that's when we went back. And we stayed there until uh, my, my dad owned the house, so he, we, we didn't leave. And some people left right, right away, they, 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 they repatriated to, to Macau. Uh, and we stayed behind because my dad had to sell it, wait for the house to sell. And we, in '43, that, 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 that he sold the house, that we moved to, to Macau. Okay. Well, um, so you were in Hong Kong for a while, and then, uh, yeah. How were you evacuated to Macau? Well, we we went on our own. Oh, the, the, my like my, my dad sold the house, like I said, and so he was getting ready to go to Macau. And we had to pack up all our stuff, and then my, the day that it, it, this happened, I my dad got sick with malaria. malaria. He he didn't know what was going on. Uh -huh. I at my age, younger, I had to go uh, make arrangements, put all our stuff in the junk, went over, stay one night to, to get to the ferry boat, yeah. and so we managed all that. And we went, went, went to Macau.